Okay, so wonderful. Before I start this video, and this will be a ripper, I think that's what the British people say. I made, and many of you will confirm this, I mentioned this in at least two or three videos over the past few months, and I mentioned it endlessly on live streams. I said, what about the review <laughs> on that new medium format GFX camera? And I said, this is exactly how they're going to screw up the review. They're going to talk about how the video is bad, and they're going to talk about the autofocus, even though it's got the fastest autofocus of any medium format camera by leaps and bounds. So, so the review came out, and do I really care what they say? No, of course not. And anybody that actually knows what a medium camera, medium format camera is for, and what it does, and its ultimate intention, doesn't care. So the good news is that any one of those people that knows about photography in medium format doesn't give a single hoot in hell about this extremely ignorant, it's actually way worse than I thought, review on the GFX or uh, Fujifilm camera. However, people that are newbies and are clueless and think, well, this is a huge website. They've, they've got all sorts of people scurrying around, you know, thinking and double thinking and triple thinking before making this review. I mean, it's pretty accurate. And of course, they buy into that stuff. And that's also the cult of authority. That's the same way that um, ignorant and unintelligent fools in college get uh, brainwashed and stupefied with nonsense by people that have a PhD hanging on the wall. Now here's a perfect example. Now let's first start off by saying whether it's full frame or crop sensor, the very notion, and by the way a buddy of mine, I told him about this review and he went and looked at it and he's a, uh, a, uh, an expert photographer who's extremely famous that shoots for very large names, okay? Very, very large names. You've heard of them. I'm not going to mention it. He went to look at the review and he came back to me basically saying, you know, what the hell is that mess? Even the moderator on your medium format forum in a very nice and politically correct way said, this is ridiculous. You shouldn't be judging full frame and crop sensor cameras in the same category as medium format. But that was, that was published today. Most ignorant you think, well, you know, you're just upset because you own the camera. You know, you're just upset that they gave it, you know, a, a kind of a sleazy review because you own the camera. Nobody is like talking bad about your baby, right? It's like you got an ugly baby. That's not it at all. Let's talk about the illogical fallacies and how incredibly ignorant and unbelievably pathetically stupid that review is. Now, cars and vehicles, you know, Basically, whether it's a giant earth mover down to one of those little miniature cars, you know, they look like a, a, a matchbox. They've all got a gas tank and four wheels, most of them anyway, and, you know, they go from A to Z. Interestingly enough, ages ago, there was, uh, we came up with car classifications. <clears throat> Crossover SUVs, luxury vehicles, sports cars. I got a couple of cars. One of them is an older sports car. Okay, and I've got an SUV, it's a RAV4 Toyota, an older RAV4, and it's a, and my little sports car, which is really zippy and it's very small, two-seater. Yeah, and we got off-roaders and commercial vehicles. Now, if I were to ignorantly and unintelligently do something as stupid and post a YouTube review or say I had a website where I reviewed cameras, right? And people are like, well, I, that guy's got like 20, 30 employees. He reviews cameras full time. He's focused on getting the facts straight. And I were to like take a little sports car, right? Just wait for it. And I were to like take it on the back roads where it's muddy and there's, you know, gravel road up the side of a... It's like, man, this thing only got about 30 feet and it bogged out. I mean, the clearance on the bottom between the between the road and there's no pavement out there it's just dirt and gravel the clearance is only that much on pavement so it is it's just you know we just we don't think this is very good because we tried to drive it in uh, uh, Hickbilly Hickbilly uh, West Virginia on a muddy road and it just it didn't get it you know we had to call a tow truck and it was a mess you if I made a, a written car review like that of a little sports car based upon its off-road performance, you would, you'd say, that, that bald tattooed schmuck is a total idiot. You admit it. 
That's exactly what you would do. And there's all these classifications of cars, right? And the moderator of your own medium format forum, of course, brought this up. He didn't use this analogy, which is certainly a better analogy. You're, I'm talking to the people that run this website and reviewed this camera. I don't care if you gave it a silver award. Let's talk about this, the ignorant things you actually said. And I told people in live streams and in several videos for the past few months, confirm this. People that saw those can confirm. I said, I, I'm proven 100% correct. That's exactly what I said they would do in the review, and that's exactly what they did. Autofocus is relatively slow. These are, this is what they didn't like about the camera, one of several things. We'll get from point to point. Compared to what? I want to know, and an answer from you, and you're not going to answer, because you're cowards. You're cowards. Compared to what? This is, not my opinion, hardcore empirical fact, the fastest autofocusing medium format camera by leaps and bounds to any other medium format camera than the Mamiya Leaf, the Hassi X1D, the Pentax 645Z. Leaps and bounds faster. Relatively slow? Relative to what? You know, when you talk about the classes of vehicles here, I would, if I did such a thing so stupid as to compare the speed and you know corner handling of like say a giant earth mover which is what medium format cameras are they're giant earth movers for moving a large amount of data from a large sensor with a completely different aspect ratio by the way a superior aspect ratio the ones that uh, portrait and landscape photographers and professionals prefer over the aspect ratio of that of 35 millimeter i.e fx or dx you you, you just like you're, you're an idiot would I compare the autofocus speed and profile? There is not a single person with two brain cells. The only person that's ever, and I mean this seriously, listen up closely. The only person that has ever bought a medium format camera and thought that they're going to use it for sports and action, like, I don't mean like moderate action, which you can certainly use these for, and I have done, um, for hardcore sports action has been someone with way more money than brains. It just, you know, I, I hear about the ultimate image quality medium form. I'm gonna get this sucker, I'm gonna go shoot the cars going around the track. Meow. And it's not good for that. Neither is an, a, uh, an earth mover. You know, one, one with the giant tires that gets like really bad gas mileage because I think it's like what, some of the really large ones is like a half a mile to the gallon. The ones that are used in copper mines and stuff. I would be an idiot to like, well, you know, this, this vehicle and it's got four tires and it's got a gas tank, so it's a vehicle, right? It's an earth mover. If I were to stupidly compare that to like my RAV4 or like a little miniature sports car and it's corner handling, you, know, you, you would rightfully so say I was an idiot. That is exactly what they did in this stupid, ignorant, and I'm not actually angry right now. I'm actually saying this partially for drama because when I read the review, I started laughing and then I said out loud to myself, I told everybody this is exactly what they would say and this is so, so ignorant and unintelligent. It, it just makes you just want to smack your forehead. You know, it's like, God, how could somebody be that ignorant? You don't, cars are not judged across classes. Luxury vehicles are not compared to off-road vehicles. They're not, it's a different class. Yeah? See, you're going to give me, uh, uh, give this camera a negative review. You said, these are your exact words on your idiotic review. Autofocus is relatively slow. Compared to what, damn it? It's the fastest autofocusing medium format camera that exists. Here's the next one. This is ridiculous. This is just as ridiculous also. Video performance is disappointing. Let's, let's review that. Video performance is disappointing. There is not a single idiot on this earth, once again, other than someone with way more money than brains, that has ever... The only reason there is video functionality within the GFX 50R and the 50S is for gits and shiggles. If you could transpose that, that's pig, pig Latin. Gits and shiggles, you transpose the G with the S. That's the only reason it's there. Medium format has never, ever been for video, and it has never been for fast autofocus. However, 
Thankfully, for the first time ever in the history of photography, and I mean this dead serious as hell, you can actually use a medium format camera for moderate action, which I have done. The only two cameras that you can use for moderate action currently until the 100 megapixel GFX comes out are these two cameras. The only one. What do I typify as moderate action when at about 30 yards all the way open with any GFX lens, you're actually able to take pictures of uh, people on galloping horses that are moving by at about 10 miles an hour, some faster, moderate action. Okay, it's not fast action, it's not slow action, it's, it's moderate action. So it's the first time ever. So, and video? No, vi medium format is not for video. So what put the crack pipe down? And I, and I kind of mean this seriously. I know that people in Seattle, it's a stereotype that people in Seattle do a lot of drugs. So maybe, I don't know if that's like the, the source of the confusion of how you want to like compare a full frame or crop sensor camera to a medium format. Here we got a little sports car, right? This has got fast autofocus, incredible buffer. This one's only got three frames per second. It's still got the fastest autofocus of any medium format. But you're going to try to compare these two cameras. Well, this one's way slower than any Nikon Z camera or a Sony or a Canon or, you know, a Fujifilm uh, X-T3. So... You know, that's, we're going to drop the, this is a completely different class of camera. Completely different class. Insanely ignorant and undeniably 100% unintelligent. To the max unintelligent. Um, I think the phrase is crayon eating. Unintelligent. Significant rolling shutter in e-shutter. <laughs> yeah for video yeah 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 great great wonderful once again we're getting back to video yeah for photography too i don't know of a single person that owns a gfx 50s or 50r other than some street snaps where the shutter is silent uses electronic shutter on medium format everybody's using electronic front curtain or mechanical shutter if these medium format cameras did not have electronic uh, shutter at all, it would affect nothing about them because people that buy medium format camera don't do video and they don't give a damn. You can't do flash photography with electronic shutter anyway. People say, well, medium format is for still life, which is essentially true, mostly true. Now the opportunity is thanks to Fujifilm and Fujifilm only, you can do moderate action with a medium format camera. Um, if, if the folks that did this review are not intelligent, and, I mean, it actually, I actually smiled and laughed in a good way because when I read this review, and it's exactly what I predicted, I made myself, it made me really happy because I thought, you know, um, I get criticism plenty for reviews, even though I take them wickedly serious. I look at that and I was like, you know, I'm just one person. However, I'm hyperlogical and I am very, very intelligent. You know, translate ancient Greek and poly, write books on field theory and metaphysics. That's some pretty heavy stuff. But when I see reviews that are this ignorant and unintelligent, it makes me feel so much better because I'm one guy and they got like a whole group of people sitting around scratching their heads or scratching something. And uh, before publishing that review, you know, yeah, this, 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 is, a, this is a valid review. <laughs> it's not. There's not a single fool on earth that reviews cars that would ever review a sports car relative to a pile of luxury vehicles. There's not a single car reviewer that would review a, um, an off-road car to like a pile of sports cars. Like, we had a hundred sports cars here reviewed and this off-road car sucks. Man, it's just not super fast. You know, the handling around the corners is nothing like that little Lamborghini out there. An off-road vehicle is a design and intent and purpose. The right tool for the right job. Let me repeat that again two more times because that is a, a phrase that these people that did this review haven't got a single damn clue about. Right tool for the right job. Medium format is meant for one thing and one thing only. Well, not essentially, but essentially correct. Ultimate image output, UIO. Product photography, commercial, landscape, portraiture. There is not a single, 
And let me mention this very specifically. People say, oh, there's an old sensor in this camera. Compared to what? The output on this for landscape and portraiture, most of you have never seen a full-blown RAW file or a 300 megabyte TIFF from a medium format GFX. will blow the hell and gone out of any full frame camera out there. I don't care if it's Nikon. Now people will pixel peach and this pic pixel peep and they'll blow both of them up to 400 percent and they'll look at the little detail. And what, this is actually a, a fallacy of uh, that a lot of the camera reviewers do is they're actually looking at it at a pixel level view and they're um, I'm forget the exact name of the fallacy but they're they're, they're pixel people without understanding Number one, the fact that it requires far less enlargement. It's a completely different aspect ratio. It's, um, I forget, and I've had a brain lock on uh, this particular sort of uh, mental phenomena that people have. Let me find it here. Uh, computational photography fallacy. Okay? This is the same thing I talked about two days ago. It's like talking about my backyard garden of tomatoes as opposed to Bob's 100 acres of tomatoes. Like, well, you know, per tomato plant, mine are the same as Bob's. Yeah, Bob's got 100 acres of them, and you just got like 10 plants. You know, Bob could lose 80% of his due to storm or rabbits or whatever. And this is the era of computational. I'm going to blow up the Nikon D850 next to the Fujifilm GFX or Hassi X1D, which is discontinued, that awful turd muffin that it was, buggy piece of junk. And look at both of them at 200 or 400 percent. Well, you know, the detail is pretty close, so. And then people will draw the ignorant conclusion. Well, there's not really any difference there because, you know, look, both the. That is the fallacy. That's the fallacy of the computational photography of looking at both of those shots, you know, at the same scale and then pixel peeping, like how much more detail is on one or the other. The aspect ratio and the difference between medium format and uh, crop sensor and full frame is stark. You're actually a lot closer with the same field of view. What does that mean? Stand in the same spot with two different cameras, two different lenses, the full frame at 85 millimeter. You have the same field of view as that 85 millimeter, essentially, like on the GFX, for example, with 110 millimeters, but you're a lot closer. So you got a 110 millimeter lens with an 85 millimeter field of view. The bokeh is different. It requires less enlargement. It is a superior and highly desirable, over that of 35 and crop sensor, aspect ratio, 4.3 versus 3.2. This is the medium format look. And uh, the people that blow, blow two images up, full frame and medium format side by side, I don't see it. You know, I, you know they both look the same to me. You know? I think it's the same detail per square inch there. It looks pretty close. <laughs> But anyway, um, yeah, that, that review is that review is exactly what I said it would be, and it's incredibly ignorant. Um, even people that are moderating your own medium format uh, form, like yeah, these sh these kind of cameras and these kind of cameras should not be judged side by side, which is correct. Um, so congratulations on making the worst camera review that I've ever seen. It actually makes me happy. I'm not angry at all. Because like, you're angry in this video. I'm not angry at all. It makes me feel a lot better about myself because I see that a team of people scratching their heads did a job way worse than if I were to purposefully do a horrible review. It's like, you know, I'm going to screw up this camera review, which I've never done. But it's like, you know, say I lost my mind one day. It's like, I'm going to purposely screw this, screw up this camera review of whatever camera. Um, that review is way worse than if I were to do something like that. And I, I really mean that. I don't mean that hyperbolically. So congratulations on that one. You don't understand the differences between different classes of cameras. And you're trying to compare a, an off-road car with a giant earth mover. And you're trying to compare a sports car to an SUV and... and that's it's 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 ignorant in the extreme and that's undeniable congratulations congratulations remember that movie the sixth sense where the kid says i see dead people i'm that little kid except i'm going i see stupid people everywhere everywhere look it's just it's just stupid people everywhere <laughs> Damn.